What's up guys, welcome to another Insight Subs weekly roundup. This is week four uh, and we're here to be talking everything bodybuilding, everything supplement, everything inside insight. Um, I'm going to run through all of that for this past week. So take it away my friend. Right, hi guys. So first is back in stock. So we've had cluster bomb from Redcon. So that's the intra intra carb, so the cluster dextrin powder, <coughs> um, grape and strawberry kiwi, both live on the site. Also, we had all of Axe and Sledge come back yeah. into stock. So everything apart from fuel pump scorpion venom is back in stock. There's a reason for that, um, which we'll talk about later. But yeah, everything otherwise other than that is live on the site. And then we also bought in two new brands, which is PES. Yeah, PE Science, so Physique Enhancing Science um, by Ben Carpenter. Very, very good brand. It's a brand we've brought in to kind of... It's been around for a while and we've brought it in to kind of come for the cheaper kind of side of things. Even though it's not a cheap brand in the slightest, their pricing is very good, which therefore means it can be a slightly cheaper brand than the ones we have to import ourselves. Um, and it's very, very good. We've got a load of samples coming that you guys can try. There's basically a protein that comes in a load of delicious flavours, snickerdoodle, cookies and cream, frosted chocolate cupcake, um, 45 pounds for a big tub, you can't go wrong. Um, high volume, which is their non-stim, and then you've got prolific, which is their stim. And then you've got Amino IV, which is their BCAA formula. So they're all live on the site. Samples will be coming this next week and we'll get them out to you guys. Then we also had Chemix come into stock. So Chemix by Gorilla Chemist. Um, it's very, very strong. Me and Bob tried it this week. Um, we had an experience, to say the least. Um, so if you do buy it, guys, take a half scoop genuinely on this one. Other ones, I'd say you're okay, but on this one, half scoop it. If you like a ton of stimulants, you'll probably be fine, but it is very, very strong on the stimulant side of things, so just be wary. But yeah, it's it's well put together, but very, very strong. Yeah? Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to play a little game. Bob and Dan are basically going to taste... Blind taste test. Blind taste test. Uh, I've picked any product. product. Any product it can be, it can do a protein, it can do a sleep aid and put us to sleep, it can do whatever he likes, it can do a pre, get us off our face, whatever he wants to do. Just a little taste test, just only a sip, because we're not, we're only going to be sat here, so we're not taking a full pre. I might do the whole unless, thing. Unless, unless they can't decide and they need to take the full thing. Well, yeah. So yeah. the idea is we're going to run it, so do you want to grab them, Charles? So yeah. basically we're going to run this for like a full year, we're going to take it in turns, we're going to have a leaderboard for us three, so you can guess the most right. Now... How, how we, we're going to basically score it that you get one point for the brand, one point for the product, and one point for the flavour. Okay? Here you go, lads. And it looks like beer. It. We, I, I, can we smell it or do we have to just taste it? Can we smell it first? Yeah. Okay, so smell test, then you guys can guess. Oh, well, what is that? Right, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> what <is> that? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like bleach. It oh, smells like bleach. Yes. Right, so they're drinking bleach. Crazy guy. It's definitely a pre. It's gonna look really bad if we both don't know what this is. What the hell is this? Uh, You've chosen a good one here. Yeah, go for it. Right, I'm gonna go first, shall I? Yeah. Yeah. No, maybe not. <laughs> Come on, guys. So what is it? I'm First, amateur. What is it? I think it's a pump only. Bob thinks it's a pump. Dan, what do you think it is? No, it's not a pump. It. Uh, I'd expect it to not mix as. I'd expect it to be thicker if it was a pump only, but I don't know how to mix that well. Oh, you're a genius. I'm the. I'm, <sighs> I'm lost. I'm lost. Come um, on, just pick. Man! Oh, I don't know, man. But yeah, but, but right, right, I'll tell you what, I think it's a pump, and I'm gonna go with uh, we'll do flavour. Do brand as well. Bra brand? They have to do brand, no product, as in product in the exact product, not just pump. No, 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 I think it's a pump. I'm gonna go with. I'll go with Kraken. A pump, I've never had it, but Kraken I'm gonna, pump. Go, I'm gonna okay. go for it, yeah. What flavour? Uh, I'll go for the. Uh, the lollipop flavour, what's that? Momsicle. I'll go for that. Okay. I ain't got a clue, but I'll go for that. Do you know what I think it is? It's quite nice What do you though. think it is? I think I might have got it. Okay, go. 
Is it? A cotton candy flavour. You pick the flavour, I'm not gonna tell you. Alright, I'm gonna go um I'm gonna go a Nova Farm Limitless cotton candy. Right. So it's a pre for one, so Dan gets one point. Bob, you're completely wrong. Uh, and it is serum code I nearly said that. From, uh, in drumstick flavour. I nearly said that as is well. It? Yeah. Are you sure? I thought it was that, but then I thought, no, it can't be that, because, and then I go, uh, okay. Oh, well. So, so th does this mean Dan gets a point? I get one point. Yeah. Well, that's, I can't believe we haven't got that off. Did you say something like pump? What? <laughs> Pre. Pre. Uh, that so that is one, right? I have never tried that. I've never tried that flavour and it threw me off. If it was fruit tellers, I would have got it. But it tasted a bit cotton candy-ish, whether it's measured to see or not. Um, but yeah, it was... The flavour isn't bad. Once you, you know kind of get into it. Can, has it got pepper in it, that? Has it got black pepper in it? Probably. The fruit teller did. I don't know about that, this one. I, you can taste something that tastes like pepper. You can <coughs> a little bit. You know what I mean? I think it's better than the Frutella though. <coughs> yeah, I do like the... I think it's better than that one. I do like the Frutella. Right, anyway, anyway. so is that just 1-0? So yeah, yeah, that's 1-0. 1-0 to one nil. the champ. Thank you, my friend. Um, so yeah, that'll be an ongoing thing every week. We're going to do this, so... Uh, yeah, it be interesting to see if we ever get one right for every single category. Probably not. <laughs> um, but yeah, moving on. Moving right, on. so next is industry news. So we have the Arnolds coming up. So we're just gonna do like a predictions to um, yeah to see who's gonna so win. So another little game. We're gonna predict the top three between us. Well, each one, um, and then we'll have to see who wins. Um, yeah, let's go for it. So, right, you, okay. so read out the names. So I got Leon Biecki, who's really really good. Great poser. Uh, yeah. Pairs himself. I don't think he's a top five guy, but that's it. Read them all. Then we got William Bonac. Yeah. Uh, Raphael Brandano. Okay. Uh, Brandon Curry, Charles Dixon, Steve Kluko, right. Victor Martinez, Cedric McMillan, the Juggernaut, Luke Sandow, uh, Mikhail of Vo Yeah. Uh, Akeem Williams, Rowley, and uh, the new explosive Ape guy, Josh from Menard the Australian. Yeah. yeah. So go on and Dan, who have you got? Top three, this is in top three, not, not in any, any order, not in any order but yeah, yeah. just the top, just the top three. three. I'm going to go William Bonnack, Rolly Winkler and Josh Lenartovic. Right, I'm going to go... Oh, I don't know. Can no. I put a fourth in that? No, no. no. top three. Okay, top three. Right. In I'm going to go Luke Sando, Charles Dixon and Josh, I can't pronounce the last name. Lenartovic. Lenartovic, that's it. Yeah, that's a good choice. I'm gonna go for probably Cedric McMillan if he comes in, uh, which he very rarely does. But if he does, he'll be yeah, up there. Uh, I think Bonac. Yeah. And the juggernaut Luke Sandow. Good luck to Luke. Uh, yeah, good luck. Yeah, Luke. man, you good smash luck. it. He looks. Look at these pictures on Broken Muscle and all these posts. He's looking out this world at the minute. He'd never yeah, seen he him look so big and so tall. He would have been the fourth I put in. The only reason I didn't put it in is just because I think. Josh is, is being said as favourite, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Bonac always, most likely always turns up and uh, Rule is just obviously a freaking nature so that's the only reason I didn't put him in but I think I think he's got a good chance, I think he'll at least finish fourth, if he doesn't get top three he'll get fourth, he won't get any lower than that. No, he's, no. he's looking seriously good at the minute. So yeah, that's the Arnold predictions done. Right, so next, uh, Axe and Sledge rename. Yes, so basically, uh, you probably a lot of you guys have seen, uh, fuel pump you is no longer, so it will be now called hydraulic. Instead of fuel pump, it's called hydraulic. Uh, that's just to do with some kind of law over there, and someone's got the name or something like that. Um, it's a bit of a weird situation, but yeah. So the hydraulic's coming in, there's a new flavour in, in hydraulic slash fuel pump, which will be the unicorn blood, which I love in the grind, so I'm very happy to see that come in. And then also in the grind, there's now going to be the fuel pump flavour scorpion venom. So you're going to get bits and both. And plus the tub looks amazing. Yeah, it does, yeah. The hydraulic unicorn blood, the tub is, wow. Yeah, it does. It looks next level, like I just buy it for the tub. Um, but yeah, so that's that'll be coming in. I think in around two weeks we'll have the new lot in. So yeah, we're looking forward to that. Right. Uh, Bob, next, do you want to? Yeah, uh, 
Next week will be the launch uh, of Dirty Shaker clothing. That's a new clothing brand um, aimed towards kind of bodybuilders, but kind of kind of more smart wear. Not smart wear, but more... Like after you've trained, going yeah. out, that sort of thing. Yeah, so not like just your typical baggy t-shirts, kind of not ridiculously fitted like Gymshark. No. But not just plain and boring baggy. Yeah, and it's kind of not like the, you know, like uh, some of the t-shirts are like quite heavy... Yeah, you know, like the through the loom type stuff. Yeah, this stuff's all really soft. Um, yeah, so we've been sent some samples from yeah. the guys over there, haven't we? Yeah, it looks really, really cool. Yeah, and um, they're interested in us basically stocking it. Um, so we'll so we will we'll potentially be stocking it. We're going to see what happens and, and go from there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Next is question time. So we have a beginner's question to begin off with. Uh, someone asked, "What's a good protein on a budget, and how should you take it?" Yeah. With water or milk. So basically, we, we decided to run this because of because of people that we're answering these questions for people that are kind of already into supplements. Now, this is for someone that's not into supplements. So um, this question, for example, is something we've been asked by some guys that are coming to the shop and stuff. Um, and it's basically what protein powder should I take on a budget? Because some people think a lot of people actually that don't know what protein powder actually is believe it gives them energy, believes it gives them some form of performing enhancing you know qualities. And that's obviously not the case. It's there, it's basically something that you find in food, and it's something that you're adding in to get the extra amount of to aid in recovery. Um, so yeah, in terms of on a budget, um, you got some, I mean, to be fair, I mean, even ISO surge is, is not, it's not expensive, expensive. If you buy a big tub, it comes in at about 75p a serving, which I don't think is awfully bad in the slightest for about 24 gram of protein. It's a lot cheaper than chicken breast. Realistically, mm. isn't it? And it's yeah. tastier than chicken. And it's <laughs> <laughs> um, But yeah, so ISO surgery is a good one. Um, I'd also suggest... I think rule one. Rule one on a budget, yeah. To be fair, rule one is, is cheaper than ISO surge and it is still very, very good quality. Um, the guys that make it know what they're doing. Um, and yeah, for the price, it is very good. The cake like, flavour is really, really nice. Yeah. I've been having it all week in oats and it is in rice flakes and it is that banging. Good. There's, really a, there's a lot of people that have said even, you know, flavours you wouldn't expect to be nice, like the frozen banana one we talked about last week. Banana gate. And yeah, people are loving it. I had another guy, I sent another guy to somebody. What, bananas? Bananas. Everyone loves a banana. Everyone loves a banana. Not everyone. Not that. I, I think just a few. He keeps bringing the dad jokes out, doesn't he? Um, but anyway, yeah, so what I was saying, rule one or ISO surge, adjust your best proteins all around for price and also for quality. What about, you know. what about the new brand, PS? Oh, shit. There's a lot, in, there's a lot of good ones, guys. Yeah, really? you know, I'm giving you a pick of the bunch here. Yeah, PES, to be fair, is actually cheaper than cheaper than ISO Surge. So maybe PES and Rule 1 for your cheaper budgets. Yeah. Um, and then ISO Surge is on, on the next level. But yeah, they're both very good. As long as it's a good quality where, you know, it depends what type you want in as well. Are you want an isolate or you want in a blend? A blend's going to be cheaper. It always will be cheaper. Um, an isolate will be more because it's just more, you know, filtered. And I, think, and, and I think with the water and the milk thing, I think unless you're dieting you don't really matter, for yeah. a show why, why not have it with milk yeah it's milk tastes a lot better doesn't it gold top if you're bulking yeah top milk. obviously you know it's totally up down to yourself how you take it you can take it in your yogurt you can take it in oats you can take it in sprinkle it on your chicken if you like you know what i mean if you want some chocolate flavored chicken but anything you want basically I'll that if you want. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> anything you like guys it's really easy to take it, it you can even cook it in pancakes you can do whatever you like with it very um, versatile, isn't it? Yeah, very, very versatile. So yeah, that's, that's what I would say. Great. Right, next question. Biggest difficulty in starting insight? So for us, it was mainly the money, would you say? Mainly the money, yeah. So we started with nothing, as we've told you before, with li literally nothing. Like people say, oh, you started with nothing. No, no, literally nothing. Um, and the hardest thing is this industry, some industry, is very money oriented because quantity means a lot the profit margins aren't huge in any of this so quantity is a lot so not being able to compete with the bigger people who can buy hundreds and thousands of these tubs yeah and reduce the price it's very very hard to do and that's why i went down another route of making it more personalized trying to give back more to the customer and trying to educate the customer and trying to just be all around just just giving you what you should get for your money is the idea um so you're not just receiving a product you're receiving you know, a sample, a thank you letter, and some education with it, so you can go away and go, oh, well, I know this now. And and I think that's worth, I think that's priceless, really, because 
No, nobody does it. These big sites don't do that. They, they don't have the time. They don't want to do that. You know, they want to sit there and just count the money. So, for me, the hardest thing was the money. Um, and, it, you know, it's still a struggle. Cash flow is still a struggle. We're still a small business. Um, and I think it always will be, to an extent. Um, because we don't come from a corporate background, do we? We're not, no. you know, you can, you know, we're just not that type of person. But that's kind of helped us in a way. And I think you guys have liked the way we've done things. And I hope you continue to like the way we do things. But that was the biggest struggle. And then obviously when we got broke in, so yeah, that was course. a struggle. But with your guys' support, and it just spurred us on even more, to be quite honest with you. Yeah. I'm not going to let people like that, you know, beat us. So, yeah, just a big thank you for the support, really, as well. Because without you guys, we, if we had no support, we wouldn't have carried on. So, yeah. yeah. You're welcome. Thank you both. <laughs> right, next question. Any products hype that disappointed you? Do you want to go? Yeah, I'll go with Biohack, I think. The amount of like hysteria about court stuff. I'm not disputing the fact he knows his stuff, but for me, when I took it, I didn't really get anything. I was like, it was confusing my body. Hmm. Like it just, I, ex- I think maybe because I expected too much, maybe. Yeah. And I think that's maybe because of the hype. Yeah. Where I just think it is just a pre-workout. I think, I think. I think a lot of things are, are overhyped these days, um, and and one kind of for me, I guess you could say. Would probably be chemics, um, just because the gorilla chemi- chemist is, you know, is so known for knowing how to formulate things, and it just wasn't my cup of tea at all. Um, so yeah, that's probably the one for me. Is the one for you that you'd say anything that you've ever taken that disappointed you? No, nothing that we stock in that sense. Well, maybe something I've said to you. Any product, any product you've ever tried. So like maybe I've gone to you. Oh, this is really good. Oh, there was that one thing I tried. Um, we just had a sample of it, and I forgot the name. Um, it's like a very colourful type of sample packet. The really strong one that you do. The like? very very strong one, yeah. Edge of Insanity. That's it. Yeah. Edge of Insanity by Psycho Pharma. Yeah, that's You've it. You tried it. You know what it's on about. <laughs> yeah, that that. You that. just get poorly. Yeah. You're just gonna end up poorly. So, if you want to take it, then go for it. <laughs> if you want to get poorly. But then, but and like 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 from that, I cried. <laughs> you want to get poorly? <laughs> It's, it's, it's a messed up sample, man. Yeah. No, it's just tra- cocaine in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> like, not to be rude, but what the... I don't even know yeah, what I, it I, is. I, like, <laughs> no, no, don't get me wrong. Like, I had a very good session, but as soon as I got I home... <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I got home, I was literally in bed for like five hours, and this was like 12 yeah. in the afternoon. So yeah. it, was, it wasn't a good feeling at all. Yeah, so man. it's something I would stay away from. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, next question. Can you take car powders with Endurable? Yes. 100%. It it's, creates the perfect intro if you're not on a diet and you don't want to have too many carbs. It creates the perfect intro. Carbohydrates fuel your body, so why not? Why would you not fuel your body with it? Um, I've done it with the Axe and Sledge. With the... Uh, Big Melons. With, with the Endurable. And the taste yeah. was alright. It didn't... Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. I think the biggest thing is. I think the biggest thing is getting a carb powder. If it's unflavored, is normally best yeah, to yeah. match with an amino that's strong enough to flavor the carbs as well. Um, if they're two different flavors, obviously they can clash. But it, was, um, it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. Yeah. Right, yeah, that's the thing. If you can get something that match well, it actually turns out to be a better flavor. Sometimes you create your own kind of flavor. But um, yeah, one hundred percent carbs with your aminos, spot on. Um, there's no problems there whatsoever. The reason I would advise cluster dextrin is it empties your gastric system quicker, so it leaves it quicker, so you're not just holding carbs in here, you're not, you're not feeling bloated, feeling heavy, um, which something like maltodextrin or something like that would make you feel like that, so yeah. Right, uh, last question. Grind or recover EEA, which one is best? It's a hard one. I like um, grind for taste. You like grind for taste? Yeah, they're all pretty Have you tried the other one, though? Uh, yeah, you don't give me any sachet of that? No. no. I do like the OMG f- and pink lemonade and stuff like that. Oh, the OMG, no. I, no. I like accent test tasting stuff. It's yeah. really tasty. So, I think... So, let me go to the other one. No, if it's down to just amino profile, recover it is better. It has a lot more. It, you know, that's just simple. If it's down to full panel, I do quite like the added benefits that Grind has, like a little bit of glutamine, a little bit of coconut water powder, some electrolytes, um, there's all sorts of few little bits at the end in it, and I think that does help the formula. 
I'd say formula, they're pretty much bang on even because you have the extra aminos in this one. But the, So yeah, I'd say they're even on that. Taste-wise, there's four flavours in the grind. There's three in recovery here. Mm -hmm. um, so grind, I guess, would win on flavour. Even though I do like OMG. OMG from recovery here is very, very nice. Yeah. Um, pink lemonade, that's a good as well. I tried that one in the day, that one's good. Um, but Unicorn Blood is one of my favourites from grind as well. Um, so yeah, I, I, I like Swamp Beast as well. Yeah, that's what leads. Yeah. Apple berry pen. Yeah. Um, I would say if you are wanting a higher amino profile, go recovery here. If you are wanting more kind of choices flavors, I guess you could say, and a better kind of electrolyte profile and stuff like that, then go for the grind. I think they both have the benefits. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Is that right. it? Is That's that it, it Charles? Yeah. We're, We're done. done. We're done. Well, thank you very much if you made it to the end, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I'm going to try and throw a few more different bits in here to make it a bit more interesting for you. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you tune again. Tune in again next time. Yeah. yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, see you then, guys. Good luck, Luke.